Hello and welcome to another Next.js tutorial. In today's video, we are going to cover how you can create a dynamic sitemap. Okay, first of all, what is a sitemap? A sitemap is a file which contains URL of various pages you have on your, on your website. Okay, sitemap is clear. Let's say you created a build. Okay, at that time you had five to six pages on your website. So after a few weeks, you added few more pages. Now those few more pages won't reflect on your static sitemap. Okay. So that's why you need a dynamic sitemap which can reflect new URLs in your sitemap as you update your site. Okay. In today's video, I will teach you exactly how you can do that. Okay. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So this is our home page with uh, two links, blogs and posts. So blog is static and posts are dynamic here. Okay. Uh, this is from our previous video. Okay. Uh, posts have this four sample posts. One, two, three, four and each post looks something like this okay there is not much ui going on just to demonstrate how you can create sitemap okay now let's make a folder okay now let's make a folder under the name post dash sitemap dot xml okay so this will be the sitemap which will contain our all the dynamic links for post okay in case you have a sitemap with all the dynamic URLs, you can name it whatever you want. For this demo purpose, I am naming it post-sitemap.xml. Okay. Then we have a routes.tsx file. Okay. This is for Next.js 14 specifically. Okay. If you are using Next.js 13, you can have a, a page router. Okay. You can you will use page router now in next. 13 so what you can do is create a page dot uh, jsx or tsx whatever you want uh, i like to use tsx and have a server side props render the sitemap okay so i will show you the setup for the 14 okay uh, let me comment uh, remove this for, to set up uh, the route you need to set up a get route okay so in 14 you are you create a route so route is a basically a api path okay so that's why you create a get method okay in that get method you get your data okay whatever you data you have you get that okay so for sanity i am setting this uh, default priority and default frequency which will be for our sitemap uh, paths as well as the query for sanity okay I won't go into this detail because this will vary depending on your use case. Okay. I get all the post from send uh, client.fetch and it will be of type sanity document. Oh, this is a part of the uh, TypeScript. If you are using JavaScript, this is not required. You can skip this uh, uh, pointy brackets. Okay. This is for definition. Okay. And moving on, uh, what we will do is make paths. Okay, this will be our main paths. Okay, okay, okay. Paths URLs. Now, how this URL will look? So, firstly, we will filter out all the documents with slug. Okay, filter. So first, we will do filter. There might be a case or chances that the slug is not defined, and you will get an undefined route. Okay, so we don't want that. Okay, so that's why we filter out the slug. Then, what we will do? will say we will say site uh, okay what we have named it site url okay site url dot example dot com you can have a local host or whatever domain you have site url post okay site uh, main domain slash post slash the slug of your article simple urls then what we will we will do we will have create a sitemap string okay it will be a string paste your save okay so what it is okay so this is a xml version 1 utf8 we are defining the encodings here okay then we have a tag of url set which contains the tags of url with the configuration of low frequent uh, change frequency and priority okay and we have a default priority and frequency set above okay now 
what we will do here we will return a response return new response as sitemap with a header of application slash xml and you can also define the status of 200 if you don't define it is by default 200 okay so this is done okay this part is done now let's check this okay to check this we will open our browser and say dot sitemap.xml okay so this is getting loaded right okay so this is done and let's check if this works without that okay cool so we don't need that uh, declarations okay now moving on what we will do is we have this uh, custom sitemap or which was uh, uh, previously named generate sitemap.jmx uh, jmjs file okay so what it does it basically it gets all the static paths from your build folder and create a sitemap out of it okay that is what we saw in previous video where we have created a static sitemap okay but now we are having two sitemaps okay so we can't have uh, two sitemaps uh, one with a link of sitemap one with a uh, link with pages in one okay that does not work okay this is url set only url will be here okay so in order to create that you have to create a sitemap of sitemap basically okay this is sitemap of urls so i need to move this to a different location now okay so i will name it pages dash sitemap okay and I will rename it to pages sitemap okay then this is done this part is done here okay what we will do is we will define a array of sitemaps sitemap okay this this sitemaps sitemap which will contain the link of all the sitemaps Mm -hmm. sitemap url slash uh, it will be pages dash sitemap.xml and the previously we created a uh, we don't need that much but we do need this one post okay Let's remove extras Okay, this is our sitemaps okay sitemaps let's call it sitemap urls okay so these are all the urls we have okay now what we will do is uh, sitemap of sitemap okay sitemap of sitemap sitemap url okay sitemap url for that we will uh create a small string okay like this this will want this won't have this part okay this is the sitemap of sitemap so it start with sitemap index and no, no regular sitemap start with url set okay uh sitemap urls and it will be url and this will be url as well okay now we will save this file in main uh, uh, public slash sitemap.xml and we don't need any console logs okay save now let's run our build and see if this sitemap is getting created it is page dash sitemap xml which is a static okay this is a static sitemap static pages sitemap and the one we already created was dynamic okay so let's close our build uh, our dev server and run build and an npm run start okay okay let's open our start server and let's head to sitemap.xml so as you can see there is a two sitemap that is a pages dot dash sitemap.xml with example.com or whatever domain you have okay i will just copy this path and okay i already have this here so i will just reload okay this there are four 
urls and we have the pages okay pages we have not checked yet pages so we have all the static about blog blog how to this this all all the static parts okay as well as the dynamic ones so you can purge that okay i will show you how you can do that okay wait a sec to remove all the uh, post one you have to define a exclude here okay mm, for this the syntax will be this slash uh, post hmm, exclude posts so let's run our build again okay okay so new build is uh, running and you can see the posts are not here okay so why the posts are not here because uh, this sitemap does not reflect any dynamic changes okay so we don't want any dynamic paths here the dynamic paths for post will be here okay now let's create a new blog or a post okay a duplicate and we will uh, uh, name it 5 generate and I will all again duplicate it for 6 okay publish the old one this will be 6 generate publish and publish so we have published two new posts okay let's go here and check so now you can see post 5 and post 6 are reflected okay so i hope this uh, gave you a brief understanding how you can create a sitemap with dynamic path as well as the static one in one single configuration okay so if you find this video helpful please like this video subscribe to the channel and i will see you in next one okay bye bye